Well, folks, I want to bless you. I want to encourage you. I want to tell you that Jesus Christ is alive and we've got so many things to be grateful for because God is busy with some of the biggest things in our lives. You might not realize it, but you are actually living in the most exciting times in the biblical agenda. Number one and number two, you are living in the most exciting times in South Africa. Why do I say that? Because I believe that God is busy preparing us for a major move of God in our nation. And as we get prepared, we are going to see the power, the fire and the mighty hand of God move in our nation like never before. And so I want you to get ready for that, celebrate that and say, God, it might be tough things that we're facing. Yeah, but it's part of our equipping. It's getting us ready and lining us up and aligning us so that we are ready to be able to pull down the power of God and release it over our nation like we've never seen before. Remember, when it comes to revival, there's certain things that you conditions that need to be met and one of them is is that we need to be crying out to God and God has always done that whenever the church gets slack he puts persecution or pressure on them and then they come flocking back I tell you right now God is busy with something and we are going to learn how to push back we're going to learn how to stand we're going to learn how to fight we are going to learn how to take territory and we're going to learn how to bring the blessing of the Lord in Jesus name so this is not just me being excited this is me being so excited that we live in the time that we live in and besides that I'm meeting so many of God's people Man, I'll tell you what, the last few days have been wonderful, awesome, amazing. And I'll tell you what, every single one is going to be standing up and doing what God called them to do. In Jesus' name. Right, let's go and have a look quickly and see what our verse is today. We're on day number 493 and we are dealing with God shines on me. God shines on me. Numbers chapter 6, 25 to 26 states the following. The Lord make his face shine upon you. We all know this verse, but listen carefully. He makes his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. I want you to understand something. It means that God's favor is towards you. God shines towards you. He gives his countenance towards you. He shines his favor onto you. Remember that he's gracious to you and he gives you peace. I want you to understand that very often we deserve a lot more than what we get. And God still shines on us because we're his children. All right, it's like a normal parent. When your child walks into a room, your heart just goes towards them. All right, especially when you haven't seen them for a while. And you just want to just be there. And you want to just love them. And that's how God is with us. He gives us peace. And there is a peace and a security when daddy walks into the room. You know, when, when you sit down and you're small, have you not seen when, when a child is there and some trouble comes and he comes and hides behind daddy's leg, going, hey, my daddy's here. And remember at school, my daddy's bigger than your daddy. All right, my daddy's stronger than your daddy. And let me tell you something, we got the biggest daddy. And my biggest daddy is shining favor on me. My biggest daddy is shining peace on me. No matter what's going on, because I can rest assured, my big daddy's going to sort this out. You see, this is what we need to do is get that concept. We need to get away from fear and what's happening around us to a place of total peace and say, God, you are in control. We serve you. We honor you. We worship you in Jesus' name. And therefore, we thank you, Lord, that you are in control this morning in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, amen and amen. Amen. All right, just give me a sec. I've got to just put my notes down. It's a bit windy, uh, all right praise god all right so this morning when we take communion okay i want us to to realize that god is in control god loves us god is busy with something and god is awesome and guess what he thinks we awesome and so that just inspires us that encourages us that brings us to the place of destiny and purpose in the mighty name of jesus i know like i know that god is doing something all right, on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and broke it and he said, this is my body that was broken for you. He took the cup and he said that this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for your salvation, uh, for your physical and emotional healing. The blood of Jesus was shed for your salvation, protection and provision. And so this morning, folks, I want us to celebrate what Jesus Christ has done for us. Let us celebrate the fact that he loves us so much and that he cares for us and that he's working in our lives and that he shines 
Okay, His countenance on us. He gives us grace and He gives us peace. He loves us, folks. He loves us. And He's going to work with us to do what He wants in this nation. Lord, we come before you right now. We ask you, please, to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, action, motive, intention. Lord, we ask you, please, to forgive us and to wash us white as snow. Lord, we release the power of God over our lives in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for paying the price for us, for dying on the cross for us. And Lord, right now, I thank you that as we take communion, that the power of God will saturate us and just work in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. <clears throat> Lord, I thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. That your word says that by your stripes we were healed. And Lord, that the Spirit of God that dwells inside of us quicken our mortal bodies. Father, we thank you right now that you are moving in our lives. We thank you for the blessing. Thank you for the anointing. And Lord, we thank you for the power of God that is flowing right now in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks. I want to just tell you that there's a few things that I need to deal with today. Firstly, I want to just say that we've had so many people rock up or book for, um, for Belleville. We actually have to have run double sessions. So as soon as I'm finished here, yeah, I'm getting ready. We're going to go to the venue. And at 12 o'clock, we start the first session. All right. And then 6 o'clock tonight, we start uh, uh, the next session. Okay. So we are running from 12 to 3. And then again from, I think it's is it 5 to 8? I'm not quite sure. Please check on the times. Okay. I think it's 5 to 8. All right. But I want to just say to you that I haven't been able to prepare our normal Sunday service um, that, that uh, broadcast um, for Sunday night that I normally do at 6 o'clock. So guess what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be doing it live from the audience, uh, auditorium. All right. So you're going to be able to, if you're there, you can participate. You can be part of it. Okay. We're going to be running our live Sunday service from the auditorium and I'm going to be ministering. And it's going to be a really interesting word. I'm actually teaching you about keeping your rank. This season, we need to be able to keep our rank. And I'm going to help you understand that and know exactly what God wants for us in Jesus' name. What does it mean to keep my rank? What does it mean to keep my line? What does it mean? So I'm going to explain all of that today biblically and show you why we need to do what God has called us to do and how to do it in the name of Jesus. So I'm very excited about this. I'm excited about where God is taking the church and I'm, uh, the, the church of Jesus Christ and the body of Christ in South Africa. I know that God is busy. All right, but I want to highlight one thing, and that is this. Please, if you are coming, I want you to please come early, okay? Because if we are busy broadcasting and that, just because so we're going to be shining some of it onto the crowd. So please just come early to make sure that you've got your seat in that, okay? And remember that we are very strict with the COVID conditions, uh, the COVID um, uh, procedures between that's why we've got these big gaps between the meetings because they actually sanitize the entire auditorium so everything is done as best as we can the protocols are in place the entire um, uh, auditorium gets sprayed down and sanitized properly all right so i want you to understand we are looking out for the safety of the public and we are doing what we can do in jesus name amen all right so there's one thing that I really need to highlight today, and that's really important. There is a voice note running around about um, Chief Justice McWing McWing, okay, stating a whole lot of stuff that's, that's going to cause trouble in the nation um, and saying some of the political guys are going to get arrested and everything. I want to just let you know that it is um, it's a fake, all right? It's not real. Somebody is trying to get that thing out there so that they can try and cause trouble. It is not real. So please, if you get something from Chief Justice McQueen McQueen, if you ever record something, he always says, this is my name. He always puts it in there. He tells you exactly. So it is not Chief Justice. So please do not pass it on. Just kill that thing. It is somebody creating fear in our nation. So please, they, they, a lot of people are using wrong agendas and stuff. So please don't get involved in that. Now, I'm so excited about another thing. <laughs> yeah, remember, it is the first. And what happens on the first of a month? We renew our prayer commitment. I want to thank you for standing in the gap for all these months. Or I want to thank you this last month, 24-7, the church has been praying over our nation. And so it's time for you to go and rebook your spot. All right, please go. The calendar is open for August. Go book your hour where you are going to pray. 
All right, we need that thing covered again. The next month is up. So it's time. Go book your next hour. Book August. Say, listen, I want that spot booked. I want to get this thing going in Jesus' name. All right, because we are going to keep this momentum up and we are going to do what God called us to do in Jesus' name. All right, so I want to just bless you this morning. So have a wonderful day. Remember at 10 o'clock, Pastor Donnie's on and we're busy with Afrikaan service. And Lazelle is back with the Children's Church. Please go and have a look. Send that out to the kids. Let the children watch it. All right, fathers heart, kids, let them watch it. And I want to close with this. I want to say I bless you. I want to tell you right now, if you need anything, anything, please let it go to a central place to believers at fathersheart.co.za. If you have any queries, anything that you want to even contact me with directly, the fastest way to do it is to send it there. All right, because when, when I get overwhelmed with WhatsApps, it takes me time to get there. In other words, I explained last time, last Monday when the trouble hit, I had more than 40,000 WhatsApps before 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay, so that is just an overwhelming amount to work through. Okay, and then that doesn't count the next day when somebody wants to check something else. And so in the midst of that, the people come and ask a question, then they get cross with me. And they say, why didn't you come back to this thing? Because I'm still busy with 3,999 before you. So... Please, I'm asking, if you need something, anything, okay, go to Believers, uh, send me an email, at Believers at Father's Art and uh, .co.za, and we will then allocate it to the individual, and we'll deal with it, and we'll make sure that you get a response. All right? So God bless you. Let's get to our declaration this morning, and have a wonderful day in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, it's lovely sounds of motorbikes and sports cars riding past. All right, let's go. In Jesus' name. I declare by faith that I have divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, I want to bless you. I want to commend you. I want to say have a wonderful day. And wherever you go, release the power, the blessing, and the anointing of God in Jesus' mighty name. All right, so from my side, God bless you. Have an awesome day.